the competition between Samsung and TSMC is intensifying as the former is expected to initiate the world's first 3 nanometers process-based mass production in a few weeks. South Korean tech giant Samsung has always lagged behind the world's largest contract manufacturer of semiconductor chips, TMSC, when it comes to sales. However, the pandemic has set an urgency among all industry players to be quick and adaptive, and by doing so, Samsung would soon enough surpass TSMC when it comes to conquering the 3 nanometers process technology. Nowadays, the advanced process has become the gold-absorbing password for foundry leaders such as TSMC. In 2021, TSMC's total revenue will be 365.83 billion yuan, of which 5 nanometer and 7 nanometer combined revenue will account for 50% of total revenue. With the increase in the demand for high-performance computing, the battle of chip manufacturing has gradually spread from 5 nanometers to 3 nanometers. At present, Intel, Apple, Qualcomm, AMD, etc. have all joined the battle of the 3 nanometers. So, in this fierce war, which chip design company can take the lead in grabbing the first 3 nanometers order? Meanwhile, for fabs, who will be the first to mass produce 3 nanometers? Welcome to Tech Teller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's continue the topic we are talking about. The current chip has come to the era of advanced manufacturing process. Since there are only two foundries that can adopt advanced manufacturing process, TSMC and Samsung, while the chip design companies that require advanced manufacturing process technology include Intel, Apple, Qualcomm, AMD, NVIDIA, and several others. For chip companies, the competition of chip technology is actually the competition of product performance. In order not to lose to their opponents, chip companies have to start a capacity battle. In the face of a brand new process, the competition among manufacturers will be more intense which determines who will be the world's first 3 nanometer chip. At present, Intel, Apple, Qualcomm, AMD, etc. have all joined the battle. Let's take a look at what's going on the Intel at first. Although Intel is an IDM company, it is still far from 3 nanometers in terms of advanced processes. In order to return to the supremacy, Intel must fight for 3 nanometers. It is for this reason that Intel has become one of TSMC's competitors for 3 nanometers production capacity. Last year, it was reported that Intel squeezed out Apple to become the first customer of TSMC's 3 nanometers process, mainly producing its next generation processors and graphics products. The first batch is about 4,000 pieces. In order to compete for production capacity, in December 2021, Intel CEO Kersinger visited Taiwan on a private plane hoping to gain more TSMC advanced process production capacity in the next two to three years. For the 3 nanometers process, Intel hopes that, like Apple, TSMC can build a special supply line for Intel's 3 nanometers production capacity. A month later, in January 2022, there was news that TSMC plans to open a new production line to produce 3 nanometer chips for Intel at its new production, base in northern Taiwan. Therefore, based on the above information, Intel has fought a good battle in the 3 nanometers production capacity. Then, how about Apple? Apple is expected to release third generation M series chips based on 3 nanometers in 2023, with TSMC opting to manufacture them. As TSMC's 10 year old customer and its largest customer, Apple's 3 nanometers production capacity should be guaranteed. At present, Apple has paid a lot of money in advance for TSMC's 3 nanometers production capacity. Judging from the current situation, with the rise of GPU and DPU manufacturers, more and more companies will join the 3 nanometers production capacity battle in the future, and the situation may become more fierce by then. When chip design companies are still fighting fiercely for production capacity, for wafer fabs, the more important thing is the 3 nanometers breakthrough. Whoever takes the lead in mass producing 3 nanometers will occupy the commanding heights of the future wafer manufacturing industry, and even affect the product roadmaps of chip giants such as AMD and Nvidia. There is no doubt that at the 3 nanometers node, only TSMC and Samsung can compete at the moment. However, judging from recent news, 
both TSMC and Samsung have struggled in mass production of 3 nanometers. Recently, a report citing sources in the semiconductor industry suggested that TSMC is having trouble with its 3 nanometers process yield. But so far, TSMC has not publicly acknowledged any N3 delays, instead claiming good progress is being made. According to previous public data, compared with the 5 nanometers chip, the logic density of TSMC's 3 nanometers chip will be increased by 75%, the efficiency will be increased by 15%, and the power consumption will be reduced by 30%. It is reported that TSMC's 3 nanometers process has begun risky trial production and small scale delivery in March 2021, and is expected to start commercial production in the second half of 2022. From the perspective of customers, Intel, Apple, Qualcomm, etc. have all chosen TSMC. Therefore, TSMC is almost monopolistic in the 3 nanometers chip foundry market in 2023, with a market share close to 100%. Unlike TSMC's problems in yield, Samsung's difficulty in 3 nanometers is that it lags behind in the number of patent IPs established in the 3 nanometers GAA process. Samsung's lack of patents related to its 3 nanometer GAA process makes Samsung uneasy. Compared with the 5 nanometers manufacturing process, Samsung's 3 nanometers GAA technology improves logic area efficiency by more than 35%, reduces power consumption by 50%, and improves performance by about 30%. On the customer side, Samsung has not disclosed specifics. After Pat Gelsinger took over as Intel's CEO last year, the IDM giant, which had been testing the waters in the foundry field, returned to the market. At the same time, they also put forward very ambitious ambitions. At the investor meeting on February 18, Intel CEO Pat Gelsinger re-emphasized that Intel's 2 nanometers process will be mass-produced in the first half of 2024. This mass production time is earlier than TSMC, which means that the foundry business will compete with TSMC two years later. The situation will become more intense. In terms of 3 nanometers process, TSMC's transistor density is about 290 million millimeter squared, Samsung is only 170 million millimeter squared, and Intel will reach 520 million millimeter squared. Intel's transistor density is more than 79% higher than that of TSMC and more than twice that of Samsung. Therefore, in terms of the transistor density index concerned by Moore's law, Intel has certain advantages over the newer generation process technology of TSMC and Samsung on the same process node. In general, at the 3 nanometers node, whether TSMC, Samsung or Intel will be the final winner may only be judged by time, but from the current situation. TSMC may be slightly better. Regarding the competition for 3 nanometers, this video only tells the tip of the iceberg. In fact, around every link of the entire industry chain, there are almost a number of manufacturers competing for it. In addition, although Moore's law has reached its limit, no matter whether it is a design company, a manufacturing plant or a packaging plant, their pace of research and development of advanced processes cannot be stopped. Advanced manufacturing processes are not only related to the development of the industrial chain, but also to national security. In the future, technology will be king in the world. This is the golden rule. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. We will see you in the next video.